many years ago when our three sons, our three brothers, our three children were murdered by terrorists, I asked Esther, my wife, alayhi shalom, to go pay Shiva visit to the families. She and I, as well as the entire nation, were devastated by what happened. And once again, we're experiencing the same kind of terrorism on our streets now, across the country. But then, we exhibited as a nation the degree of achdut that we need now, more than ever. We all have to pull together now, and this is an example of exactly what achdut means. We remember Pesach as a celebration of our freedom. Chag Hayrut. And it was a celebration of our physical and our spiritual freedom. We were fed in the Midbar by Hashem. And now we also see this phenomenon of our people being fed by each one another. This is what Hashem wants from all of us, that we should look after ourselves, we should take care of ourselves, and we should be sympathetic, and we should be empathetic to the people who need food at this time of year. And if I could make one request of the government right now, we have, I read this morning, 50,000 tons of vegetables that are rotting because the market in Ukraine and Russia has closed down. I would ask the government to buy this food so that the farmers are not punished and that our people are fed. The food can be distributed through various organizations like Yochananu, which is uh, Kol HaKavod, and other organizations that are involved in feeding our poor. This is critical. This is a great start, <laughs> but we have, Hashem gave us the opportunity to feed so many other people right now by doing this act of chesed. So I thank all of you for the opportunity to be here and participate in this chesed. And uh, if I could bless all of you, Shalom <laughs> al-Israel. Amen. Right now, we're celebrating the Chag HaHeirut. It's a celebration of our freedom. And it was when Hashem took us out of Egypt, He saved our bodies, He saved our souls, and He also fed us with man. Right now, we have a similar opportunity to feed our people and to repeat the act of chesed that Hashem did during our journey in the, in the Midbar. To that end, I'm asking the government, I'm imploring the government, I'm begging the government to consider buying the 50,000 tons of food, of fresh vegetables, which we can no longer export to Ukraine and Russia because of the war to make sure to pay for it, to make sure that our farmers are compensated for their very hard work, and to make these foods available to various organizations that are responsible for distributing to the poor, and our schools for that matter as well. I think this would be in the best traditions of our people, and it would be in the best traditions of following the standards set by HaKodesh Baruch Hu. Feed the poor, take care of our poor, show them the dignity and respect that they deserve, at this, especially at this time of year.